Well, hello, fellow photographers. Dan from On One here. Today, I want to show you another cool sneak peek of something we're working on for Photo Raw 2025 coming this fall. Now, if you've used Photo Raw at all, you know that masking is critical. It's one of the most powerful features in it, and we give you lots of different ways to create and edit masks. We decided to give you another new way, and that is by using the depth in the photo. Wouldn't it be cool if the software could analyze a photo and determine where things are at in relation to the camera and then create a mask based on that so you could apply things based on depth? Well, that's what you can do now. So watch, here's how it works. With this landscape photo, let's say I want to lighten and warm up the foreground. So really the archway and the rocks in the foreground, I wanna leave everything in the background alone. Now that would require a complex selection and a gradient and combining them together and lots of hooey to be able to do that in the past. Watch how easy it is now with depth masks. I'm just gonna add a local adjustment to start. I'll use the lighten option to get us going. And then I'll just click in the mask icon. That'll roll down the masking properties if I don't have it open. And there's a new button right here next to the luminosity mask is the depth mask button. And when I press this, it uses AI to determine the depth within the photo for me automatically. You'll see how we have a little mask thumbnail. If I hit the O key on my keyboard or I hit the mask preview button, I can actually see the mask that it's generated. Stuff that's closer to the camera is white. Stuff that's farther away is black. So you can see how it's built that depth mask. Now I can use the level and windows controls and the feather control in the masking properties to shift those tones closer or further away from the camera. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn that mask preview off for a second and I'm gonna toggle the adjustment layer on and off so you can see the difference. See, it was a pretty subtle difference. We just added a little bit of brightness to the foreground. I'm gonna increase that a little bit and let's add a little bit of warmth to it as well. There we go. Now, as I adjust my level mid slider, it's going to push that effect further or closer to the camera. So you see as I move it to the left, it's making it stronger and to the left, it's or to the right, it's fading it off. You only see it on just the foreground stuff. So you'll see it on the rocks closest to the camera. So I can push the depth back and forth just by using that level slider. And if I show that mask preview again, this will help you visualize what's happening. You can see as I move it to the left, the areas that are closer to the camera are getting brighter and brighter, revealing more and more of the effect. And then as I go further away, you'll see how stuff starts to fade out and gets less and less of that effect. So it's a very cool way to apply effects or filters or blend layers in a realistic way based on the actual depth within the photo. Let me show you another example. Let's say I wanna add the appearance of fog to this photo. Well, fog is going to be higher up in the photo. It's not going to be applied evenly across the whole scene. So let's go to effects. I'm gonna add the weather filter and I'm just gonna pick the fog option and I'm gonna set it to apply to the entire photo. So that's what happened if you had fog all the way down at the ground level, but that's not very realistic. It's gonna get thicker the further away it is. Well, now all I do is I just add a depth mask to that now you notice how it's applied closer to the camera. I want it to do the opposite. I want to have it apply further from the camera. So all I do is just hit the invert button. Now it's going to change that depth mask from applying it to the foreground to applying it to the background instead. There we go. Now you can see how that fog gets thicker and more dense the further away you are from the camera. And I can increase that amount and I can adjust my levels to again control the depth, how far away from the camera that starts to appear, just like that. Pretty handy. Let me show you one more example. Let's say we want to lighten the rider and the horse and the river in the front and let the background stay the brightness that it is. We'll use a local adjustment. I'm going to set it to lighten and then I'll just click on the depth mask option. And there you go. You can see how very quickly it's brightened up the rider and the river without having to do any additional adjustments to it and I can use that level slider to control how quickly that transition happens. Again, if we look at the O key, we can see the depth mask, and I can control just how much it's applied. I really only want the foreground. There we go. And I can adjust those sliders independently to get just the right mix. There we go, before and after a nice, subtle, natural lightning with very little masking hassle. All right, there you go. That's the new depth mask in On One Photo Raw 2025 coming soon to you. Thanks for watching.